All right guys, it is getting to the end of February. So I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at all the cool stuff that's been happening this month. Uh, I'm currently coming to you from Wanaka, New Zealand, which is on the South Island, maybe, I don't know, in a, a few hours outside of Queenstown. This has been a crazy month. Uh, we've done a lot of traveling, did a lot of interviews, uh, had the whole Jason Brennan, ongoing Jason Brennan um, situation. I wanted to thank you guys for being uh, big time supporters. I deeply appreciate it. Um, this upcoming month, we are leaving Wanaka in, uh, I think, four days. Then we are going to Christchurch for five days. And then we are going to Australia for a month, which I have been looking forward to. This leg from uh, or on the Pacific, when we before we even came to New Zealand, I had in mind um, Australia because there's a mathematician there um, that actually, I don't know if it was a supporter or somebody on YouTube said, hey, you got to check this guy out. His name is Norman Wildberger. He has, from what I've seen, almost identical views on mathematics than I do, but he isn't a crank outside the system. He's actually got his PhD from Yale and he teaches at the University of New South Wales. So I am so stoked. And with him, I haven't shared this really with anybody, um, but with him, he has offered to use the university video system. So we're gonna have like video to do an interview. We're gonna do some audio. We might make a multiple. So this next, next leg is gonna be awesome. Gonna get some cool behind the scenes footage there. So enjoy this compilation of the, some cool video that has taken place over the last month. And I'll see you guys next month. So this is me talking with one of the academics before our interview. He's giving me a tour of his place. <laughs> Including goats. Who knew we would be pitting goats today? Yeah, right? <laughs> and then you'll see a shot of us in the midst of an interview. Yeah, here out in this very beautiful, picturesque place. At this point, we're talking about the liar's paradox for a solid hour or so that didn't make it into the interview that he didn't want posted. But it was a fantastic conversation. In the process of narrating square one for the audiobook version, I can already hear my voice is hoarse. Um, not a very glamorous process. Kind of stinky, kind of sweaty, sticking my head in the closet, talking to a blanket. <laughs> so. I'm going to continue. Vagueness. Another objection comes from a criticism of logic being, quote, too black and white. So I also got a chance while I was in Auckland uh, to give a talk at a local public working space. A listener of the show invited me out there and it turned out really well. So I made some friends, made some good connections good public speaking experience for me too to talk about professional podcasting this is the real exciting behind the scenes footage stuck in Auckland traffic in the rain after a shitty experience at the US Embassy because of course everything is overpriced and then you got to sit down for an hour to get a little signature notarized is all. And this is a boat ride that Julia and I got to take to Wahiki Island one night, which was just a blast. So that's a view of Auckland in the evening. It's gorgeous. All right, this is our last day in our cute little New Zealand apartment. It served us very well. We're gonna miss it. Parting words. Too. So, unlike any place that we've been in the world so far, we moved into an actual apartment. We had a lease in Auckland, and it was it's one of my favorite cities in the world. We moved in, felt like it was home. That's just the view from the, the balcony. Um, it was safe. It wasn't very, like, hip, because we're not very hip. So it was a perfect place for us. And now, here's going to be some footage of after we left Auckland. We took a road trip on the North Island. We went to what's called the Coromandel Peninsula, which is gorgeous. 
and we went down to see some traditional Maori reenactments in a city called Rotorua. So this first clip is a guy reenacting the welcoming ceremony that the Maori would have given when visitors arrived. You're also going to hear right after it one of the Maori war dances slash songs, which is super intimidating and awesome. fucking crazy isn't it <laughs> so we really enjoyed that trip that's a picture of uh my wife and i of course me and the derpy looking hat my noggin is too big for any of the hats they had on sale so i look ridiculous but hey so the last two clips you guys are going to see are julia and i on our road trip we all we stopped overnight in a city called fitianga and our Airbnb host had a bunch of um, guitars laying around and he was like practicing guitar while we were staying there. And I was like, hey man, you want to jam? Because he was doing kind of bluesy, jazzy stuff. And he was like, yeah. So this is footage um, of our jam session, but she was way more advanced than I am as a musician, but it's still pretty damn cool. So this is us playing like a, a slow jam together. I think his name was Brian, but don't hold me to it. Hey, send me some feedback if you like the stuff that you'd like to see, stuff that you wouldn't like to see. You should get some awfully cool transit footage for this next month. If you'd like to see the glamorous process of me editing videos or audio, whatever it is, shoot me an email message me on Patreon, and I'll add it into next month's clip. Alright, and another sincere thanks for me. You guys are helping make this show possible in a profound way, and I deeply appreciate your support. There's lots more stuff coming your way, so stay tuned.